Do you procrastinate as soon as you start working on a big important project? Keep delaying and delaying until you finally work on it on the day before and then 10 minutes later, you give up again. Do you wish that you were more productive? Wouldn't you want to do a week's worth of work in a day instead of days worth of work in a month? A limiting factor called decision fatigue chains you to make terrible choices that feel good right now, but makes your life worse in the long run, such as scrolling through social media when you're supposed to do work. Hey guys, I'm Aaron from Aaron Place Fun Facts. I remember around a year back, I would have a project I needed to work on, whether from my school or just personal homework. The due date would crawl closer and closer to what you call today. I would open up a blank Word document, wander my mind on the blank screen for half a minute, and then go play video games. I picked an easy choice, easy with no friction or discomfort. Statistics show 85 to 95% of all students procrastinate. Definition of procrastination is delaying and postponing something. Procrastination can lead to low productivity, poor time management skills, and missed deadlines. It is hard to sit down and focus on work because of decision fatigue. We make 35,000 decisions per day on average, both good and bad. Decision fatigue is the idea that after making a bunch of decisions, your ability to make more and more decisions per day worsens. So imagine a long, tiring day. You now have the choice to either finish studying or watch YouTube, TikTok, or whatever else you use as entertainment. Of course, you will pick the easy choice. By now, you can grasp the idea of the difficulty of decisions. Understand this. You wake up with brain power and brain points, representing your attention and focus. Each and every one of those 35,000 decisions will cost brain points. Assuming you want to be more productive, you'll want to spend more and more brain points on essential tasks. Let's say every day you start with 50 brain points brutally wake up to an alarm, you lose five points. Even worse if you're sleep deprived. Then you check your phone the first thing in the morning, checking for messages, news, or the weather. 71% of people check their phones the first thing in the morning. You're killing half of your potential productivity of the day. In other words, you lose half the brain points you started with, which is 25 brain points, for example. Get out of bed, you lose a point. Hmm, what should I wear today? Another three points spent. Use the toilet while checking your phone. Another five points spent. Hmm, what should I eat for breakfast today? Lucky Charms or Cocoa Pops? Three points lost. Now, after eating 80 grams of simple carbohydrates, 20 of which are sugar, your brain power reduces by eight points. After up, you open up your computer for work. Now, the big task that would take 40 brain points doesn't seem motivating to complete. Does it? What can you do with the one brain point you have left? Watch some Netflix, why not? Of course, my examples of brain points could be more scientifically accurate, but I hope you have a better understanding now. We now understand that the more brain points you put into work, the more work you get done. We have two more questions to ask. One, how do we use our brain points efficiently? Or how do we prevent the loss? of brain points. Two, how do we start our day with more brain points? Let me quickly go over them. First of all, how do we use brain points efficiently? If you have challenging tasks that take a lot of brain points, complete them in the morning. Not precisely after waking up, but when your mind is still clear, without any distractions, and full of brain points. Simply put, preventing the waste of brain points comes to improving your health, avoiding unhealthy practices, and instant gratification activities. Examples of unhealthy practices that drain your productivity points are eating the wrong foods, ultra processed sugary foods, low quality junk food, ultra stimulating activities like social media or video games especially burn your brain and drain productivity points. Secondly, how do we start out our day with more brain points? Say you start your day with 50 brain points. 
Wouldn't it be nice if you started your day with 100 brain points? The healthier you are, the more brain points you have. Your brain points are based on health. Good diet, exercise, meditation, cold therapy, and enough sleep especially can add 10, 20, 30, maybe hundreds of brain points to the start of your day. This is precisely why not enough sleep, for example, kills retention. One last thing I want to share is how you can save your retention points. Try to make long-term decisions. For example, decide when and what to eat every day for the rest of your life. Of course, there will be days where you will eat later or earlier. Maybe you're going traveling. You can save three brain points every day for 300 days. For example, on the morning of weekends, I eat protein pancakes and eggs. I don't need to decide. Not only that, but a big decision such as deciding what you're eating splits into many micro decisions. For example, when you're minding your business, doing whatever, you will randomly start an argument in your mind that goes back and forth, back and forth. There goes 50 decisions. Set many extra goals in the day and the week to save brain points. This is why you see super successful people. Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, dress so simply. This is why, to focus on their work instead of their closet. Take out the clothes you will wear tomorrow before you sleep. If you make breakfast, take out a pan and set up the table before you go to sleep. Write down what you wanna achieve the next day. I do this in my journal. Most people will have a work block where they sit down, open their computer, and think of what work to do. You'll get nothing done. Make long-term decisions to evade decision fatigue. Save your brain points by setting miniature goals and planning. The healthier you are, the better you can focus and be productive. In other words, start the day with more brain points. Thanks for watching. Share this with friends and family. Please like and subscribe as it's the best way to support me and this channel for free. I'm Aaron from Aaron Place Fun Facts. Peace.